OSX Yosemite on your computer. So let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is go to Safari and then go to Google. In Google, what you need to search for is Apple Beta software. So this will pop up OSX Beta program by Apple Seed. What you need to do is click on it. Okay, so guys, once you get the website on, what you need to do is sign up for the beta program. Or if you already member, then just sign it. So for example, I'll be doing a sign in. So next, what you need to do is press the button sign in. So once you get to this page, what you need to do is get OSX beta redemption code. Well, once you click here, Apple will give you a code. So what you need to do is make sure your Mac can run OS X Yosemite better. You should have 2 gigs of memory, 8 gigs of disk space and stuff. Next is back up your Mac. So next is download and install OS X Yosemite better. That's what we got to do. So directly pop up to the third step. Next what you need to do is just press download OS X Yosemite. Everything should start up. Download OS X Yosemite better. Okay, so just you need to put up the password here. Well, once you download the file, what you need to do is press next, next, and all that stuff you all know, and you can do it with your common sense. I've just started setting up OS X Yosemite on my MacBook Pro. Yay! So, guys, as you can see, OS X Yosemite is about to get downloaded here. And the computer is restarting. OS X Yosemite, here I come. So it's again setting up something new, I don't know what. Oh, so now it's completing the installation. It's gonna take about most seven minutes. Again, it's less than a minute remaining. The OS X Yosemite installation to complete. Yay! So I'll be setting up the password here. Okay, so it's done and I'll be pressing continue. Okay, I agree that. Agreed. So I finally got OS X Yosemite on my computer. Well, the installation took about 25 minutes probably. Well, I love the new UI, but one thing that I didn't like is the beta software isn't as smooth as OS X Mavericks was. I don't know, of course, this may be because it's a beta software and some stuffs are not more properly optimized for all Macs, but the notification center is even more laggier. I've liked the new UI a lot, but still, it's just average. The icons are superb, guys. I love the new QuickTime icon. I love that App Store icon is better. And the Finder icon. Okay, so next great thing about this OS, yay, is the transparency. So, as you can see, what this does is it, it adapts to the background. For example, if I select another desktop background, if I select this background, guys, as you can see, wow, the color is changing. First of all, the battery icon, it's superbly big, and this battery is more noticeable. Well, the next great thing is Spotlight has been done superbly by Apple. Spotlight looks much, much better. So what you need to do is command space, and I'll search for Untitled. Yay, click this. And if I click this, Okay, so now if I want to turn QuickTime, QUI, yay, next, Launchpad, next, yay, App Store, yay. So you can see guys, this this superbly fast, you know, guys, this update is totally worth it. I recommend you all to test the beta software because Apple is giving it out for free. I recommend you to try it out. I mean, it doesn't harm your computer at all. It doesn't void your warranty. So don't worry, just go ahead and you'll be all good. So that was all from me in this video and thank you.